It's the cup drop special. Do we have any gingerbread houses Hi, on the back? everybody. Tom's looking. <laughs> oh, dear. So we do have a new listing this uh, week. We have one on uh, 381 Wilson Road, just north of Belleville, by about 15 minutes, in a really pretty country setting. Really nice road. And uh, it's a bungalow, nice stone and vinyl bungalow. And it sits on just about, just under two acres. And it has a uh, open concept living, dining and kitchen area with nice uh, hardwood floors, three bedrooms up, and then a really nice big full finished basement walkout. So you've got patio doors that walk out to the back and uh, it's full finished down there with a nice wood stove in the recreation room. And uh, yeah, so take a look at that online. It, uh, it'll be showing up uh, today or tomorrow online. Awesome. Mm -hmm. We had a crazy busy weekend, didn't we, Julie? <laughs> We're selling everything and sometimes trying twice. <laughs> exactly. It's so I'm true. sorry. <laughs> yeah, I'm people are still really looking to move. Like they're still looking to buy and sell. Like it's it's if you're thinking of selling, it is hot, hot, hot. Yep. Sell, sell, sell. <laughs> yep, lots of people from Toronto still coming in. Yeah. Yep. Lots of people. Yeah, we have, uh, we don't have very many listings left, actually. <laughs> and the ones we do, I think half of them have offers on them. Yep. We're down to four and, yeah, four and one has five. Left. Five and, yeah. <laughs> I can't keep track. <laughs> no, it's true. Well, yeah, we'll have six because we've got the one coming on today. Yeah. So it's so strange. Um, yeah, we sold, we've sold most of them. So, mm -hmm. but we do have some buyers that are looking for some things. So if you are thinking of selling and you've got something that meet the following criteria that Julie's going to tell you about, then uh, let us come out and take a look. Yeah, absolutely. We've got, uh, I've got lots of buyers and, uh, of course, nothing for them to buy, um, but uh, I have a couple looking for a kind of raised bungalow, Colorado style, um, in the country. Um, doesn't have to be a huge house, uh, open concept, up to 475,000. Um, preferably north of the 401, but open to kind of the county or anywhere in the Quinty area. Their house is sold and they're ready to buy. Um, who else do I have? Hmm. I've got lots. <laughs> I've got lots. I can't even keep track. Uh, another couple looking for kind of a Victorian style, um, around the 300 mark. Um, really, you know, Belleville, Trenton area. Um, they are also eager and ready to buy. Um, yeah. That's all that's coming to mind at the moment. <laughs> But there's more I know there's more <laughs> so yeah so give us a call we're more than happy to help you out uh, to list a home it's been a so, slow news week on the on the yeah. like nothing's really been going on that heavily with interest rates nothing's really going on heavily with um, with I mean everybody knows the market is is fast and furious right now but that's been the case for for a while so I there's not a whole lot going on there, which is good news because at least people don't have to think about that. They can just go out there and enjoy their summer. Yeah, and I think that's what people are doing right now. A lot of people that would have taken holidays in June and July, they're now starting to take them. Mm -hmm. uh, and that actually includes uh, lawyers' offices and, um, you know, uh, bank uh, underwriters and that type of thing. So a lot of them are going holidays. So things are even a little bit slower to try and get done now. Well, that's a good point. I think you had mentioned the other day that um, that some of the law offices are at capacity for the end of August. So yeah, our end of August right now is what our end of June is usually like because yeah. our, our spring was shifted so much that uh, if you're looking at having a closing, the la like kind of the 28th, the 31st of August, that's a Friday and a Monday, um, you might not be able to. So really make sure you double check those dates with your lawyers because they are starting to get at capacity in a lot of places right now because, because you can only close so many houses, right? 
be so busy. So you may want to choose not to do the Friday or the, the Monday, but maybe do the Wednesday, Thursday, or the Tuesday, Wednesday following week. Uh, another thing to keep in mind, and I know, you know, we try and remind people of this, but um, if you're buying and you need to buy appliances or, you know, some significant items, try and hold off until after your deal closes because the, the lenders are pulling credit bureaus like 48 hours prior to closing to make sure that you haven't went out and spent a whole bunch of money and that can cause a big issue with your financing when it closes. Yeah, so, same with furniture, a new car. Yeah, anything, like, great. Anything like that. New credit card, like just, just hold off until ratio. after. Yeah. 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 And yeah. even that really, really, really includes, um, I'll use an example of the brick. Like if you go out and get a brick card and say it's a $5,000 limit, like that will go against your debt ratio. We, even though you don't pay on it for maybe it's a year or whatever so you've yeah. got to remember that whole amount can will be used towards your debt ratio so don't do it until after your purchase mm -hmm. just don't change know it's it exciting it's a lot of fun but just wait it out yeah. yeah 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 for sure that's a really good point julie thank you yeah. for making that because uh a lot of people don't realize it yeah mm -hmm. We know you need it, but... <laughs> Just hold off. Hold off, I know. Mm -hmm. Unless it fits within your financing and you yes. talk to your bank about it before you do it. Yeah. Yeah, so I think that's it. It's a kind of a short and sweet uh, to our Tuesday. I hope everybody's enjoying the weather that we've been having. Yes, it's Tuesday and yes, it's raining. There's no surprise there. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, we're trying to enjoy a little bit of snippet here and there when we can mm -hmm. um, during this uh, busy season that we have. Mm -hmm. So, and I know a lot of people are going to start thinking about school and getting their kids ready for school and what that entails. I know the new guidelines came out. So, um, I, and Labor Day is actually a little bit later this year. So mm -hmm. it's kind of the second week of September that school actually starts. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. A lot of people are wanting in that, you know, one to two weeks before. Yeah, get the kids settled and mm -hmm. in the new house and get them all stocked up too with new, new, new stuff. New well, stuff, no sharing yeah. of anything. It's a good thing we didn't have the Cookie Monster on with us too. This, uh... I'm not. That's like a nightmare for me. <laughs> Why would you bring the Cookie Monster up? <laughs> <Please>. <laughs> the biggest booby man there's ever been. <laughs> On that note, George <laughs> Weasley. Hey, hey.